This is our final video regarding partial fractions. We're going to be doing partial fraction decomposition case four, which is when we have a repeating prime quadratic factor. Really, this is just a combination of case two and case three. Like case two, we're going to repeat this prime quadratic factor multiple times, raising it up to increasing exponent one, two, three, four, etc., whatever we need to get to that exponent that is on our original problem. So that's like case two, and since our factor is quadratic, then our numerator is going to have to be linear. So we're pulling that from our case three. Let's find the partial fraction decomposition of x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 4 quantity squared. Uh, anytime I have a quadratic factor in the denominator, I still try to factor it first but x squared plus 4 is not factorable, so I'm going to say this is prime, and I'm going to go the other direction with it. All right, x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 4 squared. Since our exponent is 2, and that's our only factor in the denominator, is that one with the exponent of 2 on it, I know that I'm going to have two fractions. The first one is going to be the x squared plus 4 raised to the first, and then the second one is going to be the x squared plus 4 raised to the second. Our denominators are quadratic, so our numerators have to be linear. ax plus b and cx plus d. Once we get the setup, it just follows the same procedure that we've done for all the other cases. We're going to multiply both sides by our LCD of x squared plus 4 quantity squared. That's going to give us x squared plus 2x plus 3 equal to Remember to put ax plus b in parentheses as we multiply it by x squared plus 4. Then we'll have just plus cx plus d. We'll multiply out our right-hand side and combine any like terms. ax to the third plus 4ax plus bx squared plus 4b plus cx plus d. Organizing our right-hand side and getting everything in descending order. ax to the third plus bx squared. Now my linear terms plus 4ax plus cx. And then lastly, d. We want to factor the variables out on the right-hand side so we can equate coefficients. You'll notice, though, that our left-hand side does not have a cubic term, but our right side does. So we're going to have to put a placeholder in for the cubic term. And the only thing there is to factor here is an x get 4a plus cx, and then plus d, and now we're ready to equate our coefficients. 0 has to be equal to a, this is an invisible 1 here, has to be equal to b, Four a plus c is going to be equal to 2, and lastly, D is going to be equal to 3. So let's write out our system. This one looks like it's going to be pretty easy to solve. Oh, look, I'm missing a, I'm missing a constant. See, I should have done my cross out like I did in my other videos. Look at this. I'm missing this, uh, the 4B here. So this should be plus 4B plus D. That's my constant term. 
See, I know. I give you recommendations, and then I don't do it, and then I make a mistake. So I encourage you to do the cross out so you don't miss anything like I just did. All right, so here's our system. A equals 0. B equals 1. Or A plus C equals 2. And 4B plus D equals 3. Well, this is nice. Our first two are already solved for us. I'm going to take that A equals 0 and plug it into our third equation, and that's going to give us that C is equal to 2. And then lastly, we just need to solve for D, so let's plug in 1 for B and solve for D. It's going to give us d equals negative 1. Now that we have our a, b, c, and d, we're ready to plug it back into our original equation, and we'll have our partial fraction decomposition. x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 4 quantity squared is going to be equal to... So a is equal to 0, so that's going to be like 0x plus 1. Now, of course, we don't need to write that 0x. I'm just trying to show you for uh, emphasis here, but I definitely would not write that 0x. We'll just call it 1 on top. Plus 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 4, all that squared. And that is our final case of partial fraction decomposition.